Welcome to the Learning Lab. My name is Roman Garcia. Today's subject matter is going to be the Don Joy knee reaction brace. Now, the reason that what motivated me or motivated us to make this video is that we've been getting a lot of calls from folks interested in getting the knee reaction brace. But the interesting thing is that most of the calls are from individuals who do not have any kind of pains in their knees. So it got me to think. Would the knee reaction brace help these individuals? And, and, and I thought long and hard, and the answer is yes. And as I explain it to the folks when they call with these individuals that do not have knee pains, what I, what I tell them is that in their case, the knee reaction brace is not for purposes of decreasing pains in the knee, but for purposes of decreasing the probabilities of them experiencing knee arthritis later on in their lives. Most of these folks that are calling us are in the relatively in their middle lives. They're anywhere between um, 30 to 50 years old. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you and show you a concept of why I feel that this knee reaction brace for those folks who are either having bowing or not knee deformities in their knees still is applicable in their situations even though they do not have pain. Now, what I want to what I want to show you first is a is a word. It's a biological term, also used in physics. It's called metastable state. Now, all this term means is that most biological tissues, most biological organisms, tissues that are imbued with life, they exist in a certain domain or a certain plane. They exist in a metastable state. All that means is that they they exist in a very delicate stage. They are adapted to their environment. They have a little bit of, uh, of leeway in being able to move either to the right or to the left in the spectrum of metastable state. But they don't have much room. Once they pass a certain threshold, this will lead to degenerative changes. So basically what the knee reaction brace does, it helps maintain a knee that's either in a bow leg or a not knee position in this metastable state. Now, in a little while, I'm actually going to show you in a little experiment of what a metal stable state is. Now, like I said earlier, this knee reaction brace functions, works for the two groups of people. Those people who are in pain, either bow legging, not kneeing, and are in pain, and then those folks who are calling us primarily with a not knee or a bow legged structural change, yet do not have pains in their knees yet. These are folks in the 30s to 40 age group. Now, they, they are disturbed by what they see in the mirror. And what I tell them is that this knee system is still applicable to their condition, but they're using it for a different purposes. Because these folks, even though they are bowing or in a not knee pattern, they are still in this metastable state. They are not beginning their degenerative progression. Now, what I want to show you is a picture of a knee that's in a not knee posture. These are the vector lines right here. This is the right knee. This is the right knee. Right knee. And then this is the left knee. The right knee is normal. The left knee is degenerative. Now, what I want you to focus in, and Carlos, if you can get this, these are magnitude lines right here, these triangles right here. You see here on the normal knee, which is the right knee, you see that these triangles, these pyramids, are of equal dimensions. One is not necessarily larger than the other. They're pretty much equal. But on the left, on the involved one, Look at this, look at this, and this is the outside, this is the inside of the knee. Look at this triangle on the outside. Remember, this knee is in a not knee state. So basically, the, the, the outside part of the knee is the, is the area that the most stresses are converging. So you can see that the triangle is larger on the outside, on the inside. All this triangle tells us, or tells me, is that most of the stress is accumulating on the outside, which is which is concurrent, which, uh, which agrees with her knock knee posture. So, you can come back to me. So basically, all that picture shows is the actual, it actually shows you the magnitude 
of the asymmetrical stress load that that involved knee that's in a not knee posture is, is being exposed to. In this case right here, she was in pain. This patient was in pain. So the knee reaction brace in this situation serves two functions. To decrease the inflammation by decreasing the weight-bearing load and then by realigning or creating symmetry between the inside and the outside part of the knee. So what I want to show you first is with my, the help of my assistant over here, Anna, we put the knee, the knee reaction brace. From prior videos, we know that Anna is in a not knee posture. Now, she's right now, she's in a metastable state condition. She's stable because she's not experiencing any pain. If Anna were to use this system, she would use it for purposes of maintaining that metastable state, not allowing that knee joint to converge high stresses onto the outside part of her knee when she's exposed to long, long, long term or le lengthy weight bearing activity. So she has the option, if, for example, if she wants to walk as an exercise, she uses this system so she can create symmetry between the inside and the outside part of her knee. Now, these metastable states, you can only maintain them if you control the weight bearing load that you expose your knee to. By being in a bow-legged or a knock-knee pattern, you have greater probability of experiencing degenerative changes if you expose your joints to high level of impact. For example, Ana, brinca. Brinco otra vez. Perfecto. Now, what Ana just did right now is she jumped up and down. Every time that she jumped up and down, the outside part of her knee was exposed to higher levels of weight bearing load. She basically was experiencing stress conversion. Now, she had, when she jumped up and down with the knee system, this knee system controlled that weight bearing load of, of this high exposure and this outside part of the knee. Brinco otra vez. Okay, relájame. Again, by having the system on, when she jumped up and down, she was able to, to create at least a more symmetry than she would if she were to jump. Brinca ahora para arriba, para abajo. Otra vez. Perfecto. Jumping without the system, she's exposing her knees to high levels of stresses right out here, right, right on the outside part of the knee because she's in a not knee pattern. Se me, se me puede acostar aún. Now remember, Anna resides in that group, that first group, in that second group, in the second group where she's in a, an abnormal structural position, but she has no pain. Anna is a candidate still to wear the knee reaction brace, but only for purposes, for prophylactic purposes, to decrease the probabilities of her developing degenerative changes if she decides to expose herself to these high level stresses. Now, we've done, we've done examinations of Anna's before, and we've determined, and I'm going to show you in a little while, her x-rays again, that she's in a not knee posture. We know that for a fact. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you her x-rays on right over here. This is her x-ray. This is with the knee system on. This is with the reaction system on. This is without it. We already know that the knee system corrects for these abnormalities depending on whether you've got the vector properties on the inside or on the outside. Uh, again, we can see that there's an improvement here in her not kneeing with the system on. You can see the, the, the difference between this line and her cortex is greater with the system on than without it. Now, this is just an example of the opposite. This is a knee that's in a bow-legged stance. This is a normal knee. This is the abnormal knee. This is the inside. This is the outside. As the inside is is compressed, starting to collapse, he starts going further into a Boeing situation. This individual was in the was in the other it was in the first group. He had pain and he's in a bow legged stance. And this is just an example of a again the, the vector lines are not on this picture, but you can trace it with your finger 
and this is the involved, the left, and this is the uninvolved. You can see that there's, there's a bowing tendency on the involved knee, and you can see this collapse right here. This is the metastable, unstable state right here. You can see this convexity, concavity right here. This is a knee that's metastably unstable. It's past the threshold. It's in a degenerative state. It, this, is a, this is a knee that we would brace with the Don Joy. Now, Carlos, come over here so we can show you. Now, what I'm going to show you is an example of a metastable state using an inanimate object. This is a regular can. It's empty. It's empty. It's very fragile, just like our knees. Extremely fragile. It's very smooth. There's no dints in this. There's nothing here. It's a very smooth can. Alrighty? Very fragile. I'm not that heavy. I weigh about 140 pounds. But that's enough weight to crush any can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here on the floor. I'm going to balance myself over this can. Now I'm holding on here on the sides. I'm not putting the whole 140 pounds on this can by all means. But I cannot balance myself. I don't have the proper balance to balance my whole body weight over it. But you can see I'm, I'm putting at least more than enough weight to crush this can. There's no doubt about it. This is an empty can. It's very fragile, just like our knees. Now, the reason it doesn't crush is because I'm perfectly balanced over the areas. You have complete symmetry surrounding the whole can. It's metastable. It's in a, it's in a metastable state because its its girth, its structure is very smooth. Unlike somebody that's in a bow-legged stance or in a knock-knee stand, they're in a metastable, unstable state. Now, I'm gonna. I'm going to duplicate what a bow-legged knee or a knock knee would be and what it would do if you expose it to high-level stresses just such as jumping up and down. Now, I'm just going to create a little bit of asymmetry. You can see I created this. It's no longer symmetrical, it's similar to a knee that's in a bow-legged or a knock knee stance. Now, I'm going to put it right, right here same thing and I'm going to put it right in the same same area it has to be in my midfoot because I have to be perfectly balanced over this can now this this can is no longer metastably stable because it's not symmetrical now look what happens it crushes immediately because it's not it was not, I, I, I created a metastable unstable state just like a knee that's in a bow-legged stance or a knee that's in a knock-knee posture. So even though you are not in pain, you're still a candidate for this Don Joy reaction brace because it reestablished this metastable state in the knee. It creates symmetry. Again, this has applications not only to the knees but really to any joint in the human body because when, you, when a joint is just a little bit compromised, its spherical contours are a little bit compromised. You may not be symptomatic, yet you may be exposing that joint to high level stresses. And because it's lost its metastable stability, you are predisposed to tissue degeneration, similar to what we've seen with the x rays, and basically using this inanimate structure right over here to demonstrate what that metastable state is. Okay, so basically, it's important that before you undergo any kind of high physical load, that you go and you have yourself examined by a, by a competent individual. Because when a knee or a joint is in a metastable, unstable state, it will give out signals that can be interpreted by an experienced observer. So if you have any concerns, if you, you want to try to establish whether you're metastably stable or not, we always leave our phone numbers on these videos. If you have interest in the system, if, like most of the callers that we've been getting, if you are in a bow-legged or a knock-knee position, a stress, um, stance, 
and you're concerned with this, give us a call and I'll be able to assist you in getting the right fit for your knees. Again, if anybody that sees this video, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, feel free to give us a call and make your mind felt. Thank you for watching this video.